Good day everyone. Today, we will be discussing major organs of the human body. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Our body is composed of different parts that work together to do life processes. These body parts are called organs. The bones, the stomach, heart, and lungs are examples of organs that play important roles for us to live. Brain It is considered as one of the highly complex organs. It is found in the head, protected by the skull with soft tissues called meninges, and cushioning fluid. It contains billions of units of neurons for the processing of information. It is considered as the CPU or central processing unit of the body, for its main function is to process and interpret the information or stimuli it receives and send back to most appropriate reactions of the involved body parts. The brain controls and coordinates all the types of muscles for balance, responses, and physical activities. Most importantly, the brain is responsible for learning and acquiring skills such as writing, dancing, singing, drawing, etc. Kidney Our body needs to eliminate unnecessary substances that has entered into the system. The process becomes possible through the bean-shaped organ called kidney. In general, the kidney has two functions. First, it removes the liquid waste solution from the blood in the form of urine. Second, they also keeps stable and balance the other substances and the salts in the blood and produce hormones that aid in the formation of blood. Bones Our bones is composed of different types of bones. Bones are structural foundation for us to stand straight and form the shape in our body. They also serve to protect most of our internal organs. For instance, the skull helps to protect the brain. The backbones protect the spinal cord and the ribs that form the cage shield, the heart, and lungs. The pelvic bones support our body when we are sitting. The bones in our body are also connected with each other. The point where the two bones meet and connect is called joint. Our joints and muscles allow our bones to move. Stomach we need to eat food to gain energy for our daily activities. We get the energy and nourishment from food through digestion. The food is chemically digested through our stomach and intestines. After digestion, the food is broken down into simpler form or nutrients that is used by the body. The stomach has layers of muscles responsible for the squeezing of food as they contract and relax. During this process, special substances like enzymes are mixed to convert the squeezed foods into smaller forms.
Lungs. The lungs are part of the respiratory system. It supplies oxygen in the body necessary for respiration or exchange of gases. Our pair of lungs coordinate with the heart by oxygenating the blood that will pass through it. The lungs through air sacs secure the quality of oxygen by filtrating them, leaving the good ones in the blood and exhausting the waste gases like carbon dioxide out of the body. Heart The heart is a hollow muscular organ protected by the chest cavity. When the cardiac muscles involuntarily contract, the heart works and can easily pump blood to distribute nutrients from small intestines and oxygen from the lungs to the different parts of the body. Every time we do physical activities, the pulse or heartbeat is higher than when we are in the resting stage, like when we are sitting or sleeping. This is because exercise can increase the contraction of the heart muscles. Let's do this. Do the activity below. Answer the guide questions. Materials needed, strainer, clean cloth, mixture of salt and flour, and water. An hour later. What happened to the mixture as it is poured into the strainer with cloth? The mixture was separated from each other when poured into the strainer with a cloth. What materials pass through the cloth? Only the water pass through the cloth. What materials remained on the cloth? The solid materials such as flour and salt remained on the cloth. In our body, what organ can perform the same process? Our kidney organ perform the same process since it removes the liquid waste from the blood in the form of urine. Let's do this. Do the activity below. Answer the guide questions.
procedure, press your middle and index finger slightly on your wrist. Set 1 minute time to count and record your pulse rate. Do 10 jumps. Record your pulse rate again. Describe your pulse before and after the activity. Before the jumping activity, my pulse is slow and normal. Then after the activity, my pulse rate becomes faster and higher. Is there a difference in pulse rate before and after jumping? Why? Yes, there is a difference in my pulse rate because every time we do physical activities, the pulse or heartbeat is higher than when we are in the resting stage. What is the effect of doing an exercise to your heart? Exercise can increase the contraction of the heart muscles. Let's do this. Connect the organs of the body listed in column A with its function in column B. Brain, letter G. Heart, letter C. Lung, letter E. Stomach, letter J. Small intestine, letter B. Kidney, letter D. Bone, letter H. Muscle, letter F. Blood, letter I. Large intestine, letter A. Let's do this. Do the activity below. Use materials that are available at home. Procedure. Make a bookmark of any shape made from available materials. Write the name of the organ, its function, and some steps in taking good care of your organs. Heart pumps blood around the body. Brain controls thoughts, memory, and other organs. Why are the major organs of the human body important? Major organs of the human body are important because they work together to do life processes. These major organs are important to perform all our daily activities. They work together like machines, helping us to respond to sudden changes in the environment and to interact with other people. Choose one major organ and write its importance in your body. Brain. It is considered as a CPU or central processing unit of the body. For its main function is to process and interpret the information or stimuli it receives and send back to the most appropriate reaction of the involved body part. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.